The human body is remarkable. It can adapt to the most amazing things. We know that when we're young, particularly, that if we exercise and we get into shape, that our muscles get bigger, we can breathe better, uh, we feel better, and those endorphins that come out help us. Uh, everything seems to be improved. And as we age, that still happens, but we have to work harder for it. So even for people who are developing problems with congestive heart failure, and their heart is limited in what it can do, there's a study that came out now in the Journal of the American Medical Association in August of 2012 that was done by Dr. James Blumenthal from Duke University. He's the PhD who has been doing research on exercise and, and depression and, and SSR antidepressants for a number of years now. And in this study, what he did is he looked at, 40, at some of the people who have congestive heart failure and put them in an exercise program. He had 2,300 patients with congestive heart failure, and, and half of them, they exercised for 90 minutes a week. There were just three 30-minute exercise uh, sessions that they had where they were going on machines to try and make themselves fit aerobically. They were a bike or a Stairmaster or something like that. And what they found is that over the period of the year, that they improved their oxygen consumption, and they also and improved their endurance, and they checked them every three months for the year. In the other group, they found that that happened, but much less so. So the advantage of doing exercise did the same thing for the older people who had congestive heart failure as it did for young people who were trying to get in shape to be professional athletes. They also looked at depression and found by doing questionnaires and found that the amount of depression that people had when they were in an exercise program was, was improved. And there was also, along with that, improved survival and fewer hospitalizations. They found their depression scores were lower and, uh, than the group that didn't do exercise, and they felt better. So when we're looking at, at exercise, it's good for all of us. It detoxes, it strengthens whatever muscles we're trying to strengthen, including the heart, which is, of course, a powerful pumping muscle. It improves our our mood, it improves our ability to exercise, it lowers our weight, lowers blood pressure, helps prevent diabetes and heart attacks and strokes. It's just a good thing. So now that we know that it helps even people in congestive heart failure, it should give us more confidence and, and more inspiration to get into an exercise program so that we can feel the best that we can, live a bit longer, have fewer hospitalizations, even if we're in congestive heart failure.